have I got a program for you today. I thought I'd take you out of the road with me to, to Galveston. I'm going to be meeting a couple of developers down there and uh, I'm going to be looking at some of their proposed projects that they're working on. I'm going to help them put together an unbelievable team to help them uh, have the best chance of success on their, uh, the, on their development endeavors. And if you stick with me, I'm going to tell you exactly the same people. Alright, hey, thanks for staying with me. Like I said, I'm on my way down to Galveston, Texas, and I'm going to go take a look at a couple of proposed development projects that are going to be going on. I'm going to be helping these developers put together uh, a unique team of people that are going to give them the best chance of uh, being successful on their development project. Real estate development is a very unique area of real estate in that it, you make you're actually creating wealth from an idea and some dirt and you take a little risk and you know at the end of the day you end up creating some uh, income generating property like I said that creates some wealth and so like I said today I'm on my way down to, to Galveston I'm gonna meet with these developers I'm gonna help them put together a team of people uh, that will help them be successful because development is a team sport and you have to know who to put on it now there's two primary groups of people that are important to be on that team. Now, I'm also going to share some dash cam video in this video as well so that you can get an idea because Galveston is just pretty. You just got to admit it's just a pretty area. So I'm going to share some of that and then I'm also going to talk about those two groups of people. Uh, now, I hope you like this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Uh, also, if you like this kind of content where we're talking about all things related to commercial real estate, then subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you can see new videos as they come out, all right? All right, so stay tuned. Enjoy some, uh, some sites around Galveston first, and then we'll talk about who the, uh, the, the people are that you need on your team. Isn't Galveston just pretty? I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff going on out here. I just, I love coming down here. All right, so it doesn't matter if you're actually in Galveston, Texas, or in New York City. You've got to have, if you want to have a successful uh, development project, you've got to have the, the right people on your team. And there's two primary areas where you're going to get these folks. And there's, these are your design and construction team. And then the second set of team are your real estate service firms. All right, so let's first start off with um, um, the uh, design and construction team. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a short, I'm going to tell you who they are and a short description of what they do. Later, we're going to create some, some more video content that will go into deeper detail of them. And I'll put some of those links down in the description uh, as I create them. So check back on this video several times, and you'll, you'll see them start to develop down in there. Also, I'm going to put them in a playlist 
uh, for you so you can easily get to them. All right, so the first one up on the on your design construction team is going to be your architect. Well, that makes sense. You need to have a, a building, right? And so the architect's responsibility is to help create a, a, a building that is inviting so people will want to come there and rent. And it, that you want an architect who can help you create uh, a, a building that will give you the highest rents, all right? Um, now, the other part of that is you also need a land planner. I mean, it's, it's one thing to have a piece of dirt, but if you don't know what you can actually put on that, on that piece of dirt, uh, you, you could probably, uh, well, your chances of success uh, on your development is probably not going to be that good. So a land planner is going to come in there and take a look at the configuration of your land. They're going to look at the ordinances. They're going to look at the, the zoning uh, plan for your town that you're in. And they're going to help you put buildings in the right area. They're going to help you design parking, lighting, access to the, to the, uh, to the property itself. And um, uh, so they're going to give you that, that layout of the property. All right. Now the next one is going to be your landscape architect. That's also a person who's going to do kind of the same features. Um, uh, they'll help you put together the parking again and uh, uh, help you pick, figure out where the building should be laid out, that kind of thing. All right, so it, in almost every single development project, you're either going to have to put in some infrastructure or you're going to have to tap into the infrastructure that's already there. And so engineers can help you out with that. And so your engineering group are going to help you with uh, determining what construction types need to go into the area, how much support the infrastructure you actually have there can help you out, or that you can actually support. So how much support, I'll get that out, <laughs> how, much, how, much, uh, 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 how much building space will the infrastructure you have there support? I mean, because common sense says this, if you can't flush the commode, then you got kind of a problem there. Nobody's going to want to come to your site, all right? You'll also have soil engineers because it's important to know, well, <laughs> what kind of foundations do you need to have on that property? How much water flow is going off of it? Also, uh, you know, you, you also want to know, where, are you in a floodplain? And of course, a surveyor is going to help you out with that as well. Uh, so a surveyor is going to tell you exactly where the boundary markers are of your property. Um, and so that, that, that tells you what what's yours and what's not okay so it's as simple as that now a great example of the next uh, consultant that you're gonna have on your team is going to be a the, your parking and traffic consultants and so a parking consultant is really really necessary when we start trying to figure out how many parking spaces for example um, a retail store might have to have or even an office complex um, you, you might figure that one out that you know you don't need as much parking for an industrial pro property, industrial property, but you also might need a, a, a turning apron for trucks, something you don't have to really consider in other types. So your parking and traffic consultants can help you out with that too. A traffic consultant can uh, can t can help you uh, make sure that you're that you've got proper entrances. Um, off of a major road onto your uh, onto your property and how much flow you should expect to have in there now uh, if you fall into one of these design construction teams and I've talked about your career field and you'd like to, to, to talk a little bit more about that hey leave some comments down below I'd really like to, to hear from you uh, like I said we're not going to go into real big detail about what each of these career types do in this video we're just touching on it okay in subsequent videos, we'll go into more detail. All right, so your next area, uh, oh, of course, let me, let me finish off real quick. You have to have the all important construction contractors. That's who's building it. <laughs> and so you gotta have a, a, uh, a plus top of the notch construction uh, group that's gonna come out there and actually build it for you. They're gonna be experienced and they're gonna help you get to that building built in the shortest amount of time possible because it, you must, go from dirt to renting spaces as fast as you can if you want to be profitable all right so your next group is going to be your real estate service firms and so who's in that well before you ever begin your plan um, uh, to determine whether you're going to begin your development plan you probably should hire yourself a marketing consultant to find out if there's actually a need for that kind of uh, uh, development Makes sense, right? 
who who's the demographics out there and what what are these people what what kind of properties are in demand what are these people out there renting and buying and things of that nature right now the next person you're going to probably have to have is a financial engineer or, or a project underwriter that's more of the function that i do and as a financial engineer my job is to help you handle your cash flows in three areas i'm really concerned about cash flows or should i say the magnitude of cash flows the timing of those cash flows and the risk of those cash flows. And let me tell you something, there's nothing more risky than a development. So my job is help to match up your cash flows to the project. And as you might figure out in the beginning, there's not a whole lot of cash coming in. So it's important uh, for me to help you underwrite that project with a bank. And we'll talk about a banker here in a minute. All right, so the next person, once your project is actually completed, you're gonna to wanna to talk to an appraiser to come out and tell you what the appraised value of a, of a property is. Now, brokers can also be called into that, but they can't talk to you about value. They can only talk to you about what a price op or a price opinion is, or maybe an investor opinion is, or investment opinion, but they can't tell you what the value is. Only an appraiser can do that. And you need a licensed one appraiser, and of course you want that appraiser to be um, um, an expert in that field of development that you're in, all right? So another really key person to have on your team is an attorney. And attorneys are going to help you understand what your rights and responsibilities are with respect to that real estate. Okay, Real estate uh, comes with a lot of legal traps in it that if you're not careful you might fall into one. So having a good attorney on your team is crucial. All right. You'll also want a good CPA on your team as well because the CPA is going to help you keep track of your um, of your cash flows um, or your, your you know your balance sheet your income statement your statement of cash flow uh, those kinds of statements that you're going to have in there and they're specifically trained for that those historical perspectives and also tax issues very important as a financial engineer I'm not really interested in taxes I'm more interested in predicting cash flows all right but I'm helping you to get to that point all right another critical piece is a good title company you need to have a good title company that can help you research uh, if there's any red flags in the title chain that you need to get you know get taken care of all right surety companies oh here we go <laughs> so when you go in there to do development in some areas you're going to have to have bonds and you're going to have to have surety so you need to have a really good surety company on your on your team that's paramount okay now you got the building built right so uh you got to now lease it. And then you also, it's a good idea to not only uh, know who you want to lease it to in advance, but also who's going to ultimately buy the project from you. All right. And so that's going to come from your, your sales broker and your leasing broker. So a sales broker is already going to be looking at the next person down the chain who is going to be buying this development project from you when it's, it's, once it's complete. And a leasing agent's going to help you to lease up that space so you can start getting some cash flows in it. Uh, one of the other type of brokers you need, and we should have talked about that from the very beginning, is a buyer's broker. So a buyer's broker is going to go out there and help you find the right property, the right piece of land to buy so that you have the best chance of success. All right? Now, you can build the most beautiful building in the world, but if nobody knows it exists, what good is that, right? And of course, that kind of goes in with your, your sales agent and your leasing agent, but you can also get a hold of some public relations uh, experts and some advertising agencies, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me there. A public relations person on staff is paramount because along the way, you're going to run into people who are not real happy about your project, and we call them NIMBYs, not in my backyard. And they'll complain to the city because they're all upset about your project. Always happens. And so a good public relations person can help you head that off of the pass. And they can work with the community to help to ensure that your, your development project is a success. An advertising agency is going to be there to help you get the word out that your project is, uh, uh, is about to be finished. In other words, they're going to go out and start seeding the area with information so people know that your project's getting ready to be leased up. All right? Okay, so another person that you need to have on that, that team is your property manager. So let's say, for instance, you've got a, a, a mixed-use property where you've got uh, some retail on the bottom floor, and maybe you've got some, uh, some spaces on top where people are, uh, you know, I noticed my hat's a little off there, sorry about that, guys. 
<laughs> so, uh, uh, so you got some uh, some uh, residents up top, and uh, you need a property manager to go in there and work as a go-between or as a facilitator between the tenants and you as an owner. All right. All right. So now we got to get to the money question. So these are the the next group of people that are just absolutely paramount to have on your project, and that's going to be your lenders. And your lender group is going to include people like your commercial banks, insurance companies, and even pension funds. And you said insurance companies and pension funds, would you believe they're probably one of the largest lenders out there? They're, they're oftentimes much bigger than commercial banks. And so uh, that's the lending group. The next group, all oh, everybody wants, and that's the investor group. And so these investor groups are broken up into two different parts just to keep it simple. These are your domestic investors. And then you've also got your uh, foreign investors. And then the final co component is what we call your institutional investor. Okay, so your domestic in investor is that. Those are just your partners that come in and put some cash in your project and they, they want a return. And so uh, we'll create, you know, you need to figure out compensation programs for them, but you have to sit back and have good partners on a project that you can work with that will ensure that your project is successful. Lots of foreign investors love coming in on development projects because it takes foreign investors so much longer to recoup their money in their own countries. So they love America. So uh, they're a great source. And of course, institutional investors are actually some of the same people we talked about a minute ago, those insurance companies and pension funds. Um, now, some of the key takeaways that you should have had out of this video um, is that if you can get the right people on your team, your chances of success go up. Now, de development is a very expensive sport. I promise you that. And uh, uh, so you're not gonna get away with this cheaply. But if you're a small developer, and maybe this is your first project, some of these folks that I've just talked about may not be practical to put on your team at first. But start working with these folks, or start looking for these folks, so as you start getting bigger and bigger development projects, you can get them on board. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, at the end of this, uh, I'm gonna put some more dash cam video up, and then at the end of that, I'm gonna put an end card up with some more suggested videos for you. All right, have a great day.
Thank you.